Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we are going to understand the fixed effects FEM or a least square dummy variable regression model. In this, we are going to consider the combined effect of cross section and time period effects in panel data regression. So, the estimation of the panel data regression model depends on the assumptions we make about the intercept, the slope coefficients, and the error terms. In general, simple linear panel data models can be estimated using three different methods one, common constant, two, allowing for fixed effects, three, allowing for the random effects. So what are the possibilities of the measurement? One, assume that the intercept and the slope coefficients are constant across time and space, and the error term captures differences over time and individual cross-section units. This is known as a pooled OLS. This particular type of regression I have already discussed in my previous videos, kindly refer to my playlist. Second, the slope coefficients are constant, but the intercept varies over the individuals. You can see here that the slope is constant, but the intercepts are different. This video is also uploaded in my playlist. Kindly refer to it. It is known as a cross-section effect. The slope coefficients are constant, but the intercept varies over individual and times. You can see here that the intercept is constant and the slopes are different. All coefficients, that is the intercept as well as slope coefficients, vary over individuals. The last category is all coefficients, the intercept as well as slope coefficients vary over individuals and time. The same thing I am trying to explain in this format. You can see here, the, this is a case of pooled OLS, where one size fits all, means one regression equation is used for the entire panel data. All intercepts same, all slopes same. In case of, for, in case of fixed effects model, all intercepts are different on time or cross-section invariant. Both this invariant have been already discussed in my previous videos. Kindly refer to it. Slopes are same. Third, mean intercept considered constant of all cross section. Slopes are different. The last category is fixed effects in which means are also different and the slopes are also different. I'll consider a very simple example in which the test grade of the student are dependent upon the study time. So if I don't consider the intelligence of the student or which test I'm talking about, and I'm running the normal OLS, ignoring the, inter ignoring the effects of student as well as the test, then it is known as a normal OLS. So Y is equal to beta zero plus beta one X one plus epsilon. So test grade is equal to beta zero plus beta one study time plus the error term. Now I want to include the effect of the intelligence of the student. So I'll have to introduce the dummy variables. So Joe, wherever the Joe is present, I will indicate it by one and its absence will be indicated by zero. These are all students. Sue, wherever Sue is present, I'll indicate by one and its absence is indicated by zero. If there are four students, I'll make three dummies. It means that if there are four cross-section units, I'll make one less dummies. The reason for this is if we include all the dummies, for all the cross-section units in our regression model, we will fall into the dummy variable trap. And therefore, dummies, the number of dummies will be always less, one less than the number of units. Here, three tests are there. So how many dummies should be there? It should be two dummies. So if I talk about fixed effects models in which only cross-section element is to be considered, this particular video I've already uploaded, kindly refer my playlist. So test grade is equal to beta zero plus beta one study time plus beta 2 Joe, plus beta 3 Mark. Antonio has not been considered here because it becomes a reference category. I already discussed about this one less dummy. So Joe, Mark, and Sue. Now, if I consider the test also, so three tests are there, so two dummies will be there. So my test grade is dependent on study time and which test I'm talking about. So this is a time effect which I want to include in my model. I already uploaded in my previous videos the how to include the time effects in the panel data regression. So test grade is equal to beta zero plus beta one study time, Joe, Mark, Sue, plus beta five test two plus beta six test three. Now this is the effect of time element plus epsilon. Now in this video, I'm going to consider combine the cross section effect and the time period effect in the panel data regression. Now, why it is necessary to have a fixed effects model? The reason is one size does not fit all. It means that when we are running pooled OLS, we are running a single regression. 
Heterogeneity here refers to the form specific characteristics and period characteristics. It means that the regression equation which you are running in pooled OLS may be different according to the form or according to the time element. By pulling all of them together, form specific and time period, uh, time period specific characteristics are subassumed in the error term VIT. This problem is known as endogeneity in which the error term gets correlated with one of the regression regressions and therefore this cause estimated regression coefficients to be biased and inconsistent. As a remedy, we take into the consideration form and time characteristics in the model to reduce the unobserved heterogeneity. Now how panel regression evolves? If we talk about normal OLS, y is equal to beta 0 plus beta x plus epsilon. So normal regression which does not account for time and cross section. Now if I consider the effect of time and cross section regression, so yit is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 xit plus epsilon it. The regressors have been included. But what about their unobserved heterogeneity arising from this term? So we introduce two new error terms. This epsilon it will be will be split into three parts. The error term from time effect, the error term from the cross-section effects plus epsilon it. So yit is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 xit, that is an observed, unobserved heterogeneity coming from time plus unobserved heterogeneity coming from cross-section. So yit is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 xit plus mu t plus omega i plus epsilon it. So mu t is unobserved time dependent error term. The factors affecting y that vary with time but not across the firm. Example improvement in the conditions. Omega i is an unobserved firm dependent error term. Factors that vary with firm but are time dependent, like time independent. Example location, corporate culture, dividend policy, capital structure, policies and board diversity. This means that in the equation yit is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 xit plus mu t plus omega i plus epsilon it. So mu t is a fixed, fixed cross, fixed over cross section but varies with time. Omega is fixed over time but varies with cross section. Now how are we including this? How are these dummies included in our model? Assume that we are talking about three firms. So yit is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 xit plus beta 2 d1 i plus b3 d2 i plus mu t plus epsilon it. So omega i is beta 2 d1 i plus b3 d2 i. Right? We are not including three dummies together otherwise we will fall into the dummy, uh, dummy, dummy, dummy variable trap. So yit is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 xit plus beta 2 1 i plus beta 3 2 i d2 i plus vit. So VIT is a combination of mu t plus epsilon it. So now I want to combine the two effects. One, the cross-section effects. So here you see GM, that is a dummy variable of GM, dummy variable of US, dummy variable of West. And these are the dummy variable of the time period. In my previous video, we have already discussed these things in parts. The first regression was talking about the cross-section effect in the fixed effects model. And in second case, we had discussed about the time period effect in the fixed effects models. Now, in this video, we are going to run both of them simultaneously. Now, let us see how we can do this in eViews. We very well know that these are the dummies. Let me show you the entire panel data. Open as group. This data set is from the book. Damodar Gujarati Basic Econometrics, the book written by Damodar Gujarati Basic Econometrics. These are the cross section dummies, right? And we want to see the effect as well as we want to see the effect of time period, both of them together. Now, how we can do this? I'll go in quick estimate equation y, c, x2 and x3 are there. Now, cross section dummies d2, d3, d4. Now, to include the effect of Time period dummies, I'll write down expand. A very simple command is there. Expand at the rate expand at the rate year at the rate drop first. We know that there are 20 time periods and we always include one less dummies. So I want to drop the first one. So I'll say drop first. Enter. And you can see here the effects. We are having the effect of D3, D4. 
but the time period effects are completely absent. So this is the way you can run the combined effect of cross section and time period effect in the panel data. So for more videos on panel data using views, kindly refer to my playlist. So for more videos, you can refer to my channel. Kindly refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos which are re related to the panel data using views. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the like button.